Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about a small device from Digilant that is called Analog Discovery 2. Why am I talking about this? Because this device was developed for electronics laboratories, but the company developed also software that runs on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. So I'm going to show you this uh, small device running on Ubuntu desktop so we can see how it works and how great it is to have tools like this for electronics inside Linux operating system. Before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel in order to support it and press the bell button if you like to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it. Okay, first thing we need to do is to build a small electronic circuit in order to test our analog discovery tool. I'll build a, a low pass filter. In this case, I'll put a series resistor, 5600 ohms, and a parallel ceramic capacitor with 100 uh, nanofarads. Now let's uh, put some uh, wires so we can make the connections to our tool. I will uh, need to inject the signal and collect the original and the output signal and also guarantee that we have the ground connections so we can have it operating properly. Now we need to uh, make the correct connection so let's pick it up. Here we have the analog discovery 2 with the loose wires. You see that we have all the connection scheme, all the pinout. 1 plus will be our original signal being collected by the oscilloscope, the orange wire. Then the 2 plus is the output signal that will be collected also from our low pass filter. Now let's connect the main uh, ground signal that is uh, arranged with the signal generator and the other digital signals available in this uh, tool. But the oscilloscope has differential inputs, so we need also to uh, get two ground connections for it. So it's done. And finally, the W1 is the output of the signal generator that Analog Discovery has available. Finally, we need to connect the USB cable it's a micro USB connector on Analog Discovery 2 and a Hay connector. Now I have plugged in the tool and arranged for the software to work properly. Let me show you with LSUSB that the device is already available. Okay, if you put the command, you will see it. And now let's call for the tool that is available from their website. So Waveforms is the main uh, tool to operate this device. And now let's start uh, by showing you the oscilloscope, a very common tool in an electronics laboratory, which is used to show waveforms. In this case, we'll be working with a sine wave a simple one, like I show you here. This is a one kilohertz uh, sine wave with one volt amplitude. And if we switch to different specifications in our oscilloscope, we will see more periods of the wave. So we are working here on Linux with this application like we would be in a common oscilloscope in our laboratory. Okay, I'm changing here some parameters so you can, you can see more details of the wave. And you will see uh, roughly no difference between working on a computer or in a laboratory. Of course, it makes you dependent on the computer, but it can give you uh, some other very nice uh, features like uh, screenshots, save the picture, working together with all the tools at the same time building some uh, more specific uh, tests and so on. 
Now let's switch to the network analyzer. Not that common, but with technology evolution, it has uh, become more common in a small laboratory, especially because of tools like this. So I have printed, in this case, I have generated a bow diagram for this circuit. And the, the main difference between an oscilloscope and the network analyzer is that on the oscilloscope, you will see the waveform uh, changing over time. With the network analyzer, you will see how the circuit behaves over frequency. And it is very commonly used to check how our filters and some other circuits uh, behave. In this case, our filter has a smaller cutoff frequency, so instead of 5 MHz, I will generate the Bode diagram ending at 1 MHz, so you can see how it behaves, starting from the cutoff frequency, which is represented at the minus 3 dB of signal loss. So, all the frequencies equal or higher than the cutoff frequency, more or less, will be attenuated. And as you can see here in the oscilloscope, I'm showing you the yellow waveform, which is the original, and the blue one, which is the output signal of our filter. And what we can see is that the blue wave is much smaller in amplitude, so it is attenuated which tell us that our filter is doing its job because this signal is a, a signal with a 10 kilohertz frequency which is much higher than the cutoff frequency of this filter we have built. So here you can see that uh, we have already used our signal generator, our oscilloscope and our network analyzer and all these tools are available inside the same software. While I made all the tests for this video, I didn't have any problems using the tool and the software on Linux. It just worked perfectly. I have also used this in the past uh, on Windows and Mac OS and the software is the same, works uh, the very same way. And that's it for now. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment on my video and press uh, subscribe in order to support the channel the bell button if you would like to receive notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Bye bye, see you on my next video.